I'm glad you're in a good, uh, funny mood tonight because this young man is making his first appearance on The Tonight Show. He'll be performing at the Comedy Stop at the Trop in Atlantic City in New Jersey, December the 9th through the 15th. Would you welcome him warmly, please? George Lopez. George. <laughs> Thank you very much. Muchas gracias. I'm sorry for people who don't speak Spanish. Fajita. <laughs> I'm very proud to be an American of Mexican descent, which was a pretty tough year this year with Desert Storm because like a lot of my relatives look Iraqi. <laughs> and I didn't realize that until I was watching CNN one day looking going, wait a minute. When did Julio get a tank? <laughs> It's very scary. My favorite uncle looks like Saddam Hussein. <laughs> yes, happy holidays. I had to go to his house and go, look, Theo, I think you better lay low, okay? <laughs> and don't go near the mobile station, please. <laughs> I'll get you an NFL glass, relax. <laughs> <laughs> so I came from a very interesting background. Uh, I'm an only child. And being Latino, I know you guys are thinking, that's ethnically impossible. <laughs> Thank you. And I don't want to shock you, but I got car insurance too, okay? So. <laughs> Latinos with car insurance on the next Geraldo. <laughs> I don't think my grandfather understood the whole concept of car insurance. He thought AAA was for people with serious drinking problems. <laughs> But you know, we had a Pontiac that he would drive and he would hit stuff and keep going. <laughs> they don't make cars like they used to. I just bought a Geo Metro. Well, actually I got it in a Happy Meal. <laughs> I thought it was dinosaur week. <laughs> have you been to McDonald's lately? They have breakfast burritos. They have Mexican food. It's like this big, it's very scary. They should call it McDoodoo. <laughs> Nine cents? Mmm! I'll tell you one place I have a little, a little trouble eating at is uh, Taco Bell. Because being a Mexican-American, I'm offended by their slogan, run for the border. <laughs> that hurts! Run for the border! Go, no, not you, Dad, come back! Put your luggage down, it's a commercial. Very authentic, huh? Taco Bell, they have salsa in those little plastic packets. That's just like my grandmother used to make. <laughs> and there's people that think that that's hot. They put a little bit of salsa in mm. oh. Mm. oh, man, what's in that, tomato? <laughs> No, there's an onion in there, I know. <laughs> who I want to meet is the guy who invents the names for the food at Taco Bell. They have Burrito Supreme <laughs> and Chirito, very authentic. I've been Mexican all my life. Not once has my grandmother called me and said, mijo, come and eat, I made Mexi melts. <laughs> Mexi melt, what the hell is a Mexi melt? <laughs> What, is that what's gonna happen to me if I stand in the sun too long? What is this? <laughs> it's like I thought you had two sons. <laughs> he begs, he melted. <laughs> I told him to wear a hat. <laughs> That's why I think that everybody in the country should learn to habla espanol. Learn to habla, so that way you know what you're ordering. Taco Bell has something on their fiesta menu called the chilito. And chilito is Spanish slang for penis. <laughs> chilito, suave. <laughs> That's why I tell you as a friend, so your ladies don't walk out and say, hi, we'd like to have five chilitos, please. <laughs> You see the guy behind the counter going, all right! One, let's go, let's go! Put the lettuce down, hammer time, let's go! 
Yeah, hi, would you like us for here to go? <laughs> Thank you very much. Take care of yourself. Back in a moment.